everyone welcome to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video I'm going to be doing an autumn clean with me or for anyone non-British out there a fall clean with me. So this was an all day clean it was a really productive day so I hope you get loads of cleaning motivation out of this and it inspires you to go and clean your own homes. <music> So first of all, I just got all my autumn decor out and some cleaning bits as well. I wanted to do this to get a nice thumbnail, but I just thought I'd include it in this just because it looks all pretty. Now I'm just going to move on to showing you a couple of the cleaning products I'm going to use. So first of all, I always use white vinegar. I use it on any glass or stainless steel. I've then got this cinnamon scented flora and I feel like that just gets all the autumn vibes. I've also got this comfort laundry softener and I use the scent Cherry Blossom and Sweet Pea. I've then got this Febreze fabric spray in the scent Gold Orchid. Moving on, I have Flash Floor Cleaner that I didn't actually end up using, so we're just going to ignore that. And then finally, I have the Pink Stuff Spray and some Sif Cream. And then I just have some autumn candles as well. So I have this one in the scent gingerbread. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a nice big cup of tea in an autumn -y style mug. And that's just going to help me get through some of the cleaning and help motivate me. And then the first thing I'm going to start with is the kitchen. I feel like once the kitchen is clean, it feels like the main base of the house is taken care of. So I'm just going to start by collecting any dirty dishes and putting them by the side of the sink. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's raining down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars as our lighter Now I'm just going to move on to cleaning the dishes with my fairy washing up liquid and also my dish matic No more problems in the flame Hold me like this 
is the first time now moving on to cleaning the sink so i'm using my sif cream and i'm just gonna clean all around the sink with this brush i'm then gonna rinse that out using the shower attachment for my sink Once I've done that, I'm just going to put some bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar in the plug hole just to help get rid of any bad smells and things like that. And then moving on to using my cinnamon zaflora, so I'm just going to put a cap full down the sink and I'm then going to fill it with hot water and that just fills the kitchen with really cosy autumn -y scents. I'm then going to fill up the bucket with some zaflora and some hot water and then I can just use that with a minky to clean the sides. Next, I'm just gonna dry and put away the dishes that I've just done. It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together And then to finish off the sink, I'm just going over with the pink stuff and my minky. I can just forget it. I'm done playing the waiting game. I'm so done. I'm all done playing the waiting game. Baby, like the stars. I've been a million miles away But you've been in my heart Somewhere down all this time. Now on to the kitchen surfaces So I always start just by putting everything where it should be And then I'm just going to leave out that candle And I can light that at the end And then once everything is put away I'm then going to go in with my minky and my pink stuff And just clean the sides and then also the tiles above it. I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Don't wanna spend one night Without your love Don't wanna miss one fight so listen, girl, mm. I'm not... Now I decided to clean my hob, so I'm just using the Sif cream and then I'm going to use the Scrub Daddy to clean that. So I always go in with the Scrub Daddy hard, so if you use it with cold water, it stays hard. And if you use it with warm water, then it goes soft. So first of all, I start by using it hard just to get any of those tougher stains up. And then I'm going to wet it with warm water and then give it a proper clean. Next, I'm just going to remove all of the excess liquid with my minky and then I'm going to shine it up using the minky glass shiner. I'm all done playing the waiting game. So today I realised I actually had to clean my washing machine tray as well. I feel like if you don't stay on top of this regularly, it can get so bad. So as you can see, mine was pretty dire so I just pulled it out and then I like to clean inside where the tray sits as well I find a lot of mold and things can build up in there so I just use a wipe for that just because it's easiest to get to the small places next to clean the tray itself I just use a tiny bit of bleach if you do use this method make sure you rinse out 
out the tray thoroughly at the end otherwise you don't want little bits of bleach remaining in the tray and then it could get into your clothes and cause damage so I'm just going to use a tiny bit of bleach and hot water and then I actually use an old toothbrush just to clean this out I find it helps get into all the tiny little places So now I'm just going to dry the tray with a kitchen towel and I find that helps make sure I get rid of any of those bleach things as well. So I'm just going to put that tray back in and then just clean around the top of it as well. Next I'm going to put in a load of laundry so I'm just putting in a coloured wash today and then I'm going to use the fairy non-bio gel inside the washing machine and then I'm just going to use the comfort that I showed earlier as my fabric softener. Now moving on to cleaning my kitchen chairs so I find the stainless steel at the bottom of this does end up building a lot of dust and things so first of all I'm just going to clean that with white vinegar spray and my glass shiner minky and then to clean the top I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth and then the pink stuff. And then that is the kitchen complete. could see yourself just sitting there on my chair now we're going to move on to the bathroom so the first thing i'm doing is just a general tidy so just putting towels away and moving buckets and things like that you don't have to be afraid now moving on to the sink so I'm just going in with a microfiber cloth and some viacal and I'm just going to clean the sink using that Next, I wanted to move on to my skincare trays. So I keep my skincare in these trays and um, that are sort of copper colour in my bathroom, but I've noticed some of the colour of the copper has been bleeding onto the tiles. So I really just wanted to sort that out and give it a good clean. So first I'm just moving the trays away and then I'm going to take all of my skincare out because I'm going to clean and sort that out afterwards. And then using the Viacal and the Minky, I'm just going to clean it underneath and then put it all back. Moving on to cleaning out the bath, I just use Viacal and a minky cloth and just go all around the bath and then at the end I'm just going to rinse it out using the shower attachment on my sink. Now 
next I'm just going to move on to shining my tap so again just using the minky shiner I use this for so much I feel like it just cleans so well and then I'm also going to use the bite car as well Now moving on to the toilet, so the same drill as that I usually do, I'm just going to use a bit of toilet paper just to clean all the dust off the top and then I'm going to go in using a antibacterial wipe and I'm just going to clean down the toilet using that and then finally I'm just going to clean the inside of the toilet using my duck toilet cleaner. I, when I'm in this town. Beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me now moving on to the shower, so first of all I'm just going to spray my daily shower shine. If you've watched my other cleaning videos you will know I now keep a dishmatic in my shower with shower and bathroom cleaning liquid in it. So I clean the shower while I'm in it and I feel like that just helps so much so all I really need to do is just give it a spray. But then I noticed a couple of the tiles at the bottom in the grout, it was starting to get a little bit of mould and I find that really hard to clean with regular cleaners. So I went in with this Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster and all you do is just spray that over anywhere that you have got mould in your home and it just removes it, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to spray that and then leave it and then it came up really white in the end. Now just going back to the bath, we have this sort of ledge underneath where we have some extra storage under our bath and it does collect a lot of dust so I'm just, the only way I've found that it cleans it well is by using a wipe and almost using my fingernail underneath um, to get in the cracks almost and I just find that gets loads of the dirt up. Nothing can break me, try not to hold me. Now I'm just going to lift up the bath mats, I find they just dry a lot better over the side of the bath rather than on the floor and then I'm just going to give them a good spray with the Febreze fabric refreshener. Now moving on to a quick clean of the bathroom floor so I'm just going to give it a quick hoover and then following that I'm just going to go over with a wipe and just get any of the additional dust and dirt up. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. And then that is the bathroom complete. Think you break me. Next moving on to the bedroom, so first of all I just needed to make the bed this morning so just my usual method, just shaking out all the sheets and then I'm going to add all our pillows onto it. Hey, do you remember 20 something years ago Those cold nights in December and then to finish off the bed, I'm just going to give it a spray with Febreze. The fireplace warm and nice. Now to clean the bedside table, I'm just going in with my pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. Although I realised just before I was about to spray it that it wasn't my pink stuff at all. It was actually another shower shine. So I went back quickly and got the right spray, which was the pink stuff and then cut take two. And then as I was cleaning, the light was flashing as well. So this was a bit of a chaotic clip. Twice, a pair of jeans and a dusty shirt. We didn't have a dime. Now moving on to my radiator cover. So I'm just taking everything off and then I'm going to give it a clean with the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth.
Next for my little dressing table, I'm just gonna put away any wires and anything that was cluttering the sides. I had a couple of makeup items out and some scissors and things like that. So I'm just putting everything back where it belongs. And then I'm just going to disinfect and clean this little area using my microfiber cloth and the pink stuff. And then once I've done that, I'm moving into cleaning the mirrors with my minky cloth and some white vinegar spray. A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt, we didn't have a dime. No, you and me were poor and stirred, all we had was time. Next, I wanted to put together this duster. So I just attached a new duster head onto it. And then I just wanted to go through it anywhere in the bedroom that collects dust that I don't typically like to use cleaning sprays and things on. So first of all, I'm just going in with the TV and then moving on, I'm just gonna clean some of the photos. And all we had was time When you and me were poorest And then to finish the bedroom, I just wanted to tidy up our curtains a little bit and then tidy up this little chair that we keep in the bedroom. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just went cold. And then that is the bedroom, nice and tidy and clean and freshened up. Moving on to my office slash gym slash dressing room. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by opening the curtains and then I'm going to move the towel that is, was drying in here overnight. And then I'm just going to put any clothes away. So I just had this huge cardigan that I'd been wearing that needed to be put away. Me apart, I can't pretend. Now I have to get over you again. Moving on to my desk, I'm just going to clean it up and then I'm going to go in with my duster. Back to show me, sorry you have changed now, but it's the same old story. I love just went cold, but I'm still burning. I love just went cold. Once it's all dusted and tidy, I'm gonna go in with my pink stuff and my microfiber cloth. I like to just give everything a good clean, including my keyboard. Just the amount of times you touch it per day, I've heard that you really should be cleaning it as often as you clean your toilet seat. <laughs> And then same as we did in the bedroom, I'm just going to go around all of the picture frames and just give them a good dust as well. Together again, you are back once more like everything's the same. I tried to build my walls up, but you're taking them down. It's tearing me apart, I can't pretend. Now I have to get over you. 
So very excitingly, I have my wedding bag out. It's not long before I get married and this video will actually be up after I get married since I have been pre-filming them quite a lot. So I'm just gonna organize this box and just close it properly and just put it in the corner of the room so it doesn't take up quite so much space. And then I'm just gonna straighten out the blanket and then put this little teddy that I keep on top of it. It's actually an exercise bench under there, so I just put the blanket over it just to make it look a little bit prettier. And then this is quite embarrassing, but I actually had to dust my bike since it's been so long <laughs> that I've been on it. I think I mentioned this in another cleaning video as well. And then since then I got really poorly, so I haven't been able to exercise barely at all. So just giving it a quick dust down, but hopefully in a couple of weeks after the wedding, I will be good to go again. And then finishing off in this room, I'm just gonna give the mirror a good clean and then that should be that room complete and looking really fresh. Now moving on to my Welsh dresser, so every so often I like just to take everything out of the Welsh dresser and just give it a good dust. This was quite a half-hearted attempt, <laughs> I was just kind of moving things around and just giving it a quick freshen up and dust. going into the living room so I just wanted to straighten up a little bit in the living room there wasn't much to do and Paul was working in there that day so all I did was start by straightening out the blankets and folding them up and just putting everything that was out on the sides away then as usual I'm just picking up all Murphy's toys and putting them in his little basket he was looking at me in disapproval but I tried to give him one of his toys and he didn't want it <laughs> Next I'm just going to straighten up our second sofa and just tuck the blanket in and make that look a lot neater. And then to clean our coffee table I'm just using the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. And then to finish off in here I'm just going to do a quick spray of Febreze. So far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder So then to finish off all the rooms, I just got out the hoover and just went over all of the rooms with the hoover. Sometimes I do split it up and do one room at a time, but I just find it so much quicker with hoovering just to do one big one at the end. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. 
and then that was the final clean with me done so I'm just ticking off all my tasks and this is the best part of a cleaning day is at the end of it just getting to tick off everything that you would throw out. So that is the end of this autumn clean with me video. I really hope you have enjoyed watching it. I hope it's given you plenty of cleaning motivation. If you did enjoy it then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.